Hi, I'm Vaughn Coleman. I have been tasked with creating a memoir of sorts on myself for creative writing. So I have taken it upon myself to interview some friends of mine. As opposed to writing something myself or doing something like that, I decided I'd try something different because I can say what I want about myself and I have often through my films and through my work um, and reference things in my life. So when I was tasked with doing something like that, I decided what better way to get to know me for a change than by asking friends and seeing what they had to say. So I asked friends from now, from high school, friends that go all the way back to kindergarten, friends that I met at film school over the summers, whether it be New York Film Academy or USC, friends that are from not only all over the country, but all over the world, various different countries. And I asked a bunch of my friends to answer four questions um, about me. And maybe perhaps you'll get some insight about me and what people think of me through their responses. So without further ado, let's get into it. I was in kindergarten, the first day I walked in, he was the first kid to say hi to me, and that's how I met him. I met Vaughn in the third grade, uh, and he was at the Lego table, and I said I like Legos also, and that's how we became friends. Well, uh, during freshman year, I was uh, asked by one of my friends to uh, go to uh, this kid named Vaughn's house, so I said sure, and uh, then I uh, kind of developed a friendship with him ever since. Um, I met Vaughn Coleman when I was uh, ice skating when I was a freshman in high school. There was this free skate thing at the Red Bank Armory and I was just uh, skating with some of my friends and I met this uh, kid from Rumson. It turned out to be Vaughn. Uh, I first met Vaughn uh, on a tour of uh, Chapman um, right before we met later at the USC summer program and I recognized him from the tour and so uh, that's how we met. I met Von Coleman sophomore year of my high school career. It was in my chemistry class. I think he was wearing like a movie shirt. We started talking about movies all the time. The first time I met Vaughn was the summer of 2016. And we met at the New York Film Academy, um, our camp that we had for like three weeks. And we, um, I think the first time I met him was up in the loft, and I think he was trying to get my number. <laughs> I went into a USC uh, summer program, and he was one of the first people that I met. I remember I went uh, down from my room after I just got to learn who my roommate was. It was the first day. And we were all trying to, you know, get to know each other a little bit and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, um, you know, he comes up to me, I've, I thought, you know, from appearance-wise, I thought, like, this must be a funny dude. If I stay with this guy, I'm gonna have a lot of stories to tell. Um, and I did, so... I would definitely describe Bond as a degenerate. Uh, he's ambitious, creative, and he's adorable. How would I describe Von Coleman? Um, that's kind of a difficult question. Um... I'd say definitely he's funny, um, and he knows a lot about movies, uh, he's definitely very passionate about it, um, that's definitely the way I know him. He's a very passionate kid, uh, he, uh, he loves film and he's gonna pursue that basically his entire life. He has a very strong love for uh, movies and everything, and uh, yeah. I'd say he's pretty energetic, I think he's pretty passionate as well, I'd say. Outside of that, he's a very nice person, um, as I said before, funny, and he works really hard and he knows what he wants, which is something that's very admirable, especially uh, in a high schooler. I would describe Bog Woman as a very enthusiastic human being who's very, he's very intellectual because he thinks of things right off the spot, and he's very good at writing and he has a very creative mind and he always gives wonderful feedback in creative writing. And he's just a really friendly, sweet, nice person. He, yeah, 100% degenerate, but he also has some other qualities, like <laughs> he's really funny, he's really nice, um, he's really easy to talk to. And um, it just, every time, every time that I've met him or like have met up with him again, 
after our camp he just seems like he's very comfortable and it seems like we had just seen each other the day before and so it's really easy to talk to him and I just love Vaughn and he's a really good friend even though we don't ever see each other because we live very far away from each other. And I would describe Vaughn Coleman as a very open person, a uh, very funny person as well. He has this a very funny sense of humor as well, which is, uh, which he, you know, he, he doesn't only t say, but he also all the time shows it in his movies and stuff like that, which is really funny. I think the best way to describe somebody is seeing how they are face to face rather than in a group, because in a group people tend to, you know, be in a in their social state and and play a certain like character in a sense. But Vaughn wasn't really like that. He 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 kept true him to himself, he, he kept very humble constantly, he was a very open guy. You know, you could ask him anything you'd, you'd like, he'd, he'd answer openly to you and, you know, he, he, was a, he was a nice guy in general. I remember just, you know, anything that I, that I, if I want to have something off my chest or if I just want to tell him something, then, you know, I could always go to him, tell him my honest opinion, he would give me back my own, his honest opinion and, you know, we all go from there, so it was, you know, He's a very humble guy, very honest, very nice, and, and I think he's also very funny. So my favorite memory with Vaughn would have to be all the years we spent in his basement playing Pokemon. The other day when we all went swimming in his pool and we went inside and some guy came in and used the bathroom and we didn't know who he was. Probably the most recent one where uh... <laughs> We got to his house and somebody had walked into his house they didn't know and just walked in, went to the bathroom and left <laughs> and Vaughn didn't do anything about it. Just let him walk out. And Vaughn did not ask the guy his name when he left because he was so like freaked out and the guy just like walked out he's like, yeah, I'm looking for uh, someone's house. And Vaughn was like, okay, um, this is not his house and he just left. And Vaughn came out and told us the story and we all were cracking up. Uh, we went to go see the movie Dunkirk on opening night. Um, our friend Hunter had been nice enough to uh, rent this out like a, a party bus almost. Uh, I had not felt very good that day, so I had unfortunately thrown up in the uh, icebox in the middle. Uh, Vaughn had not come with us to um, on the uh, party bus, but he was coming back with us, so he didn't know about it. Uh, obviously they cleaned out the icebox and everything. And then on the way back, I asked Vaughn if he could get me a drink from the icebox. And he didn't know that uh, I'd thrown up in it earlier. And uh, seeing everyone's reaction was, was pretty funny. My favorite memory of Vaughn is um, when we were at NIFA and he was showing me his short film that he made. And we were watching it in my dorm, dorm room. And um, so we started watching it and then I realized that Vaughn starred in his own short film and uh, was the main character of his own short film. And so um, that's just really funny to me because that is just such a Vaughn thing to do. My favorite memory is when I slept over his house and we made pancakes in the morning and then we saw Guardians of the Galaxy and then I slept over his house again. We're keeping that entire thing, let's watch yeah. that back. It was Pictionary, but on a mobile phone, right? Well, we all had to draw something, post it on onto the game. Then we had to guess what each of his pictures was. Afterwards, we saw all the guesses, and then we had to vote which one was the best guess or the most realistic one. And somehow we didn't really play the game correctly. We kind of looked for uh, a <laughs> victim in a sense, and I kind of picked out on Vaughn and every single picture then like every single picture with that was then like oh uh, two people shopping uh, getting uh, Vaughn's mom getting him out of the adoption set or something like that <laughs> I'm not allowed to say this <laughs> no oh Vaughn's gonna kill me oh no <laughs> Oh no! <laughs>
And the good and what I really liked about this memory as well was that I, I would have been really kind of mad, but Vaughn, you know, Vaughn was a man, and he and he kind of, you know, he he saw the humor in it, and he even made fun of himself a couple of times, and made a, 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 and he made fun of other people as well, and he was he was a good sport. Um, but yeah, that's that's really a, a, an amazing. That that was a, a great um, thing with Vaughn. I really loved that about him. Uh, that was a great memory. How would you describe Von Coleman? I'd describe Vaughn Coleman as a very ambitious uh, and adorable human.